And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video. And today we are talking about the Shout Factory, Scream Factory, June releases. Are they cool or not? We're also going to be talking about uh, a movie that we only got on DVD here in the States, but it's going to be getting a 4K. I'll tell you when and where you can pick that up. Uh, but first, let's talk about something that just I just got wind of today. I just heard about this today. And I am wearing the appropriate t-shirt for this story. And we're talking about Megan. I even got my little uh, acrylic Megan doll here on my desk. It just sits there. So NECA is doing a pre-order right now for a one-to-one -one life-size replica of the Megan doll. And that's pretty cool. It retails for $4.95 on the NECA site. And it'll be first to ship if you order it from NECA. Um... And it comes out this year, so this is something they've been working on for a little bit. And uh, so this thing is 55 inches tall, so 4 feet 7 inches tall. That's pretty huge. Let me tell you a little bit about it while I show you some pictures. This one-to-one -one replica is based on uh, Megan's on-screen appearance, duplicated from actual film use digital files, uh, to be the most screen accurate representation available. It has articulated inner armature and movable eyes, synthetic hair matched to screen used hair samples. Her clothing is made from film used patterns that include a dress with inner lining, two striped sleeves, a bow tie, underwear, tights, and shoes. The fabric material of her dress matches an exact swatch from the dress from the movie and her shoes are customized with details from the screen you shoes. This fantastically accurate replica doll stands at approximately 55 inches tall and will be an excellent addition to any family. Uh, my initial thought was, man, this sounds really cool. You know, a life-size Megan doll. It sounds like a pretty cool thing. Um, I, I still kind of like the idea of it, but I'm a little on the fence just, <laughs> just because, you know, I find myself uh, sitting here thinking, you know, people who come over and they don't know, you know, Megan, they don't know what that is, and they just see, a, you know, you have this, this child-looking doll <laughs> in your house. And you gotta constantly, you know, maybe be explaining that to people who, uh, who come over or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you, you think you'd like to pick this up? Uh, so the eyeballs move, that's cool. And, uh, it's got, the, you know, the articulated armature. So you should be able to pose this thing in some action poses and... Maybe they'll even come out with the, uh, you know, the, that, uh, you know, the blade, the, um, you know, the paper cutter blade that she had in the movie. Maybe they'll come out for that as a weapon or something that, uh, that you can order separately. But, uh, yeah, it, it sounds kind of cool. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm picking it up or not, but it definitely sounds cool. Um, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. Let me know what you guys think. Are you picking one up? Does it sound cool? Does it sound like you'd be something that you would do? Alright, next let's talk about these Scream and Shout Factory releases for the month of June. Um, you know, when I saw these, I was like... I, I had It was a mixed bag, you know. I was kind of excited for Matinee at first. You know, because it's a 4K and I really do love that movie. But, you know, I got to thinking about it, and, um, you know, I, I do have the Shout Select Blu-ray already, and, it, you know, it came with a cool slipcover, it's got special features, you know, and it, it looks, 
good. You know, it looks great already. So, do I really need to upgrade? I don't know. That's the question, right? Um, Robocop 2. This one is, is also a good movie. I like Robocop 2 um, a good bit. As a matter of fact, I have a picture here of a the the movie theater standy that I had in my uh, house growing up um, when I was a kid seventh grade I was going on a field trip and I'd saved up some money and I decided kind of last minute not to go on the field trip so um, I went to my theater and we they used to sell these standees after they'd taken them down and uh, yeah I bought the uh, Robocop 2 movie standee for about a hundred bucks and had it in my bedroom <laughs> for about three or four years um, uh, yeah when I was growing up so I you know part two I'm a I'm a fan and this is one of those deals where this one is the big one I guess because it's the one that's getting all the bundles uh, so you can get the uh, alternative slip cover that they're doing with the poster so you get the um, alternative and theatrical slip covers both posters and a prism card for forty four ninety eight that's probably the route I would go um, there's also a bigger bundle with the pens and lobby cards and a uh, bumper sticker but it's so much more money. It's an extra 100 bucks just for those pins. It's not really worth it. So, um, you know, I wouldn't recommend anyone do that. But, you know, it's whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much Robocop 2. Then you get Robocop the Remake. This one's a little weird. Uh, getting the 4K treatment. I don't know that this movie was that popular to give it the 4k treatment I've, I've actually never seen this one um so i don't know i don't know what to think about that um i kind of don't want to buy it i'm still really not that interested in it uh species 2 i'm interested in um but then again you know i wasn't like really excited to see species 2 on here I did pick up species last last year you know when they when they put that one out um, but I've never watched mine yet uh, you know I've I've been I've owned it for this long and still haven't watched it uh, I mean I've seen the movie I saw the movie in, in theaters um, but you know it's like an okay franchise, but it's nothing that special. So I'm, I'm a little lukewarm on these releases. I know every month can't be like that exciting, but I don't know. This <laughs> is a little disappointing for me. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Or, or what are you picking up? Are you picking up everything? I mean, which which are you, are you leaving out some stuff? <laughs> Let me know kind of want to know what people's thoughts are on that all right and finally we got one more story here and uh, this one I am excited about I wish wish uh, Scream Factor or Shout Factory would put this thing out but uh, coming out on May 23rd and this one is over in Germany unfortunately unfortunately it's not gonna be here in the States but we're getting Wrath of Becky or as they call it, Becky Part 2, she's back, but it's Wrath of Becky. And uh, yeah, on 4K, and uh, yeah, it's going to be in, in Germany. So, and that is up for pre-order right now, if you want to go over and uh, pre-order that. Uh, that's cool, I mean, I like that. You know, I did this video a few months ago, where I, I showed my bootleg copy here of Wrath of Becky, and how I thought, you know, I was keeping my Blu-ray because, uh, you know, only the, we only got the DVD here in the States. And, you know, that sucks. <laughs> so, 
uh, I was keeping my, my bootleg. Well, now I can retire the bootleg, give it away to someone else, you know, send it off to a another person, and uh, now I can get an official release, a nice new 4K uh, of a great movie. Great franchise. Love Becky. Becky 2 uh, was awesome. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited for Wrath of Becky. Let me know, are you guys excited for Wrath of Becky? Are you going to pick this one up? I don't know if it'll be available in, like, Orbit or Diabolic or anything. Sometimes they get these in, sometimes they don't. Um, I don't know. I don't think it'll be a big release. So, it seems like one that maybe they wouldn't get in. Well, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're unsubscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. And as always, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.